So I got this little baggie here full of items and I paid a total of $21 to the channel and today I'm here at Renegar's Flea Market in Mount Dora, Florida. It kind of reminds me of, no, I was thinking maybe like an ice cream parlor, minus the ice cream and the parlor. I think that might be Yadro. No, it's not. That's it also made in Spain, though. I was going to say, oh, it's water's in there. Jerusalem, maybe it's holy water. Stuben. That's nice. So beautiful. $50 each. And they have this Wedgwood here. And Baccarat there. Some Cloisonne. Different little vases and things. Oh, Lalique. I don't ever get to buy Lalique. Yeah, it's signed right there. Gosh, look at all the brass. There's these dolphins here. There's this guy. What's he doing? Is he playing Yahtzee? He's about to throw the dice. Oh, I think you could put a bowl up there. Maybe they can hold on to a bowl. Maybe. Very interesting. Here's the inner workings of a clock. Like a cuckoo clock. Right now we'll head across the street here. They've got more. And then also we can go to this building over here. They've got these like buildings up that way. Oh, a $5 table. I love $5 tables. I cannot read it, but it's beautiful corn cob. And you got this, your special. That's right. It's a little bank made in Taiwan. Oh, here's these old from the, like the mailbox place, the post office for the, the covers. Five dollar table. Do we see anything? This little snack tray is kind of fun too. This almost looks like Majolica. I think that glaze is Majolica. Majolica, you know, is just like the lead based or a tin based glaze. Stanford Sebring, Ohio. That's nice. You could eat your cornbread on there. It's called a hodl. Basically, it's like you have your coffee there, and then you can drink your coffee out of there. So retro, so 1970s, like Brady Bunch, all of that. And it's nine, $9. So I really like that. That's going to be a great thing here. They also have a lot of the Fire King Kimberly mugs as well. Those are nice. Uh, they're doing like $30 for a set of four. So... I don't really want to pay that. It's almost, that's, that's a bit resale, really. 2017 Munchkin. We represent. So, yeah. I'll get this. That'll be nice. Notice this little vase here. It's $2. And I like all the color in there, the swirls and everything. It looks like there's maybe dried flowers in it. Do you think that's flower petals? It is marked, too. Handmade glass from Scotland. Good old Scots land. I think that's a good thing. I'll get this for two dollars <laughs> along with my huddle. Huddle. I feel like Martha Stewart should say huddle. Huddle. My beautiful huddle. And there's a railroad tie there. Nail thing. Box. Beautiful. Some ephemera. Alright, yeah. I'll go ahead and get this. My second find of the day. Very nice. And here's another view of like the, well, the road, I guess. And then a motorcycle going that way and you know, that's the way it goes. Right, now let's head into the Renegers Flea Market building here. I don't think I've ever been in this building. I don't recall, but maybe we can find some interesting things in here as well. Plus get out of the direct sun, which would be very, very much appreciated at this second. Okay, I see, so it's more like one of these typical Florida malls, like flea market environments where you have a little bit of everything. Okay. So far, it's just a lot of new stuff, but at the very minimum, we are getting out of the heat. So, oh, there's some frogs. So yeah, a lot of new stuff. I don't see much old at all. I guess this is a dead end. All right, let's turn around and go back the way we came. We made it outside now under this covered area, and there are some vintage things, but still mostly a lot of new stuff. But they have like all these like se separate areas, separate little booth regions. Look at all this nice glass. These are pretty. The ruby cut to clear. Cool. Mm. So nice. I also like this amberina here. It's really pretty too. 
I'm thinking. I, I gave a good deal. Buy more. I'm thinking for the fall, you know. <laughs> and this like little guy All here. Table right there. <laughs> I wonder how much, how much they have on those. I think they keep me out of the sun a little less, you know. Hmm. Of the tree. Yeah, I know. Oh, there's I art down here. Oh, this is the tinsel art that well, shines. That was my spot right there. And when I got here, they took it on me. Hmm. Well, I wonder how much. I could and probably consult the man. Them. Consult the man. Could probably yeah. ask. We we'll find out. I didn't want to, you know, make it a disaster day for anybody. So give me uh, six dollars for one. Okay. All of this stuff over here. Oh my gosh. Maybe we'll find something. This is so nice. It's very bright out today, so luckily I have my sunglasses on. Oh, they have the little candies. These are cool. I like picking those up for like Christmas time. Oh, look at the little butter things. These are like, is that cool? Oh, they're flowers. Yes. The crackle glass. There's a Bailey's creamer there with the yum. Oh, this is very nice. This might be Faustoria actually. This little ball. That's, I want to, how much? Do they have a secret price? Is it one of those types? No, I think everything you just have to ask. Well, that's annoying. Maybe we'll find out that it's a great deal. Some pretty stuff. Okay, that's all right. It's a, it's a nice piece. Um, uh, not right now. I'm, I'll think about it. Yeah, I think it's maybe Fostoria. Oh, there's like a little sauce dish there. And then it's got the weeping gold. That's pretty. A little pie server there. Oh, lots of little smalls over here. So pretty. Oh, now here's the art glass. This is nice. I wonder how much he has on this kind of stuff. Like we've got dolphins and this frog. I've sold this frog before in green. Look at this whale, actually. That's beautiful. This is like a... It's a shot glass of the moose. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. What is this little thing? It's like a frosted animal of some sort. Oh, these little guys are fun, too. Genuine alabaster. The, the, uh, those things. I've sold this for a turtle before. It's, I don't like that there's no prices. I'm just not a fan of that personally. Oh, that's neat with the clovers. That's unique. And the dolphins are always fun. Yeah. I wish there were prices on things. So I actually worked up a deal for all of these dolphins for $45. I'm really happy that we got that one there, like the whale, and then all these other ones here. So it's very nice. So $45 for all of those. And uh, I think that was a really good deal. I think it's like maybe $7 each. Very nice. This one's my favorite though, the colors and everything. And of course the ones that have color and I'm like this one too. And there's the clear one and there's this like kind of light blue one in there too. So that was 45 and I feel very happy now. Like, oh my gosh, I love all my dolphins and my whale. And this one, look here, better, better. You can see there, the gold and stuff. Got the Franciscan apple here, $50 for the set. It's lovely. I, I like Franciscan dinnerware. I've talked about almost exhaustively about the ivy pattern that I collect. And then also here's the apple. And then there's the desert rose. Those three are very, very prominent and well known in the uh, late 40s and the 50s. And actually for a while. They, they use them for a ton of time. A long time. 15 for the stretch glass. Stretch glass is interesting because you can see like the little lines there. That's why they call it that. Good. All right, let's continue that way. It is increasingly hot, especially considering we're under the sun. Yes, the Florida sun. Let's see, what else can we do here? They've got like little salt and peppers. Looks like a clear swung vase. Actually, actually, this one I like. The lines on it and everything. That's pretty cool. It's pretty neat, you know? It's pretty, pretty neat. I wonder how much they have. I just, can't they price things? I don't like that. That's just, you know, this is what you do, right? So, price it, maybe. Oh my God, it's $2. I need to clean it, but that is beautiful. And 
It's a swung vase. I like the lines. It's lovely. It's blown. You can see the poncho mark on the bottom. And for two dollars, what a deal! So I'm a happy camper. Yes, indeed. Now that is a cut glass vase over there. I'm noticing, as opposed to a lot of these. So you can see, you actually see the way the light is hitting it. Yeah, that's stunning. Cool, they have a lot of outdoor stuff over there. Oh my god. I thought I was being attacked, but I just walked over a flag. That's funny. I'm 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 so worried about a flag. It because it like came at me. I thought it was like a big dragonfly or something. <laughs> look at oh my gosh, look at the Ford. That's neat. This Fenton basket. Look at that. It's $48. I like it. It's very nice. Oh, they've got like a little hut here. A little hut. Noticing another tent that way with some glassware. And now over here, I mean, this looks like a garage that got dumped out on a lawn. So maybe, maybe not so much. There's some cacti. What are these things? Oh yes, uh -huh. tools more tools and little boxes and things what is this out of like a museum or something why would they do this why would why would you want to do that i mean it's one way to never lose track of your tools zip tie them to a piece of wood yeah this is the glass and stuff that caught my attention from it down the street it was an elephant thirty dollars a big cake plate with the cover so nice Look at the giant flower frog, the clear one. I like this too, the glass. Like a little pyramid. Oneida shoe. Is it like Cinderella? Oh, that's cute. I'm gonna get this. The glass shoe. I think it's Cinderella's glass slipper. Oh, look at this. This is cut glass. So that's an example of cut glass. You can feel it when you pick it up. You can feel it. all the sharp little points if you push your finger into it it starts to hurt so yeah. that's that's what that is I like the little shapes on there this is for they have 40 on it Bavaria that's very <coughs> nice very Art Nouveau with the way that it is that's that's great so I got the glass slipper for five dollars that was a good thing yes it was good 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 this is pretty too this one here and painted once again. That's marked France. Maybe it's Limoges, 25 for that one. Also that caught my eye on this particular table, we've got this one, very beautiful. This is cased glass, hand painted cased because look on the inside how it's white and then it's cased with like this pink translucent color, 35 and it is signed. That's great. And then another thing that I liked was this custard glass here, this one, almost, you could almost say Bristol glass but it's custard, hand-painted, and stunning for 15. That's really a great price. Also, while I'm at it, this blue pitcher, which is very enjoyable. That is stunning. I really do like this one for 45. This was also blown, and then you can see where they ground down and smoothed out the pontel on the bottom of it. That's the pretty one, that pink one she just grabbed, too. It's nice, I like all the little etched details on there. Got this whole under the roof thing over here. Very nice, it's a covered situation. Wait, this is a dollar for this anything on this table? Wow, okay, so that's pretty. Oh my gosh. I really like that teacup actually, with the stars all over it. A dollar. It just needs to be cleaned. And this is nice too, this is great. Has the little cupids on it, this antique box. Oh, I thought of St. Louis. Wait, what? Now they have tw they originally had twenty-five dollars on it. Now today it's a dollar. Wait, am I can one dollar table yard sale? Any item on this table, one dollar each. Good stuff. Well, yeah, for twenty for a dollar, that is good stuff. I'll get this. I will. I decided it's going to happen. Well, goodness gracious, what is this? An illuminated thing? Ah, uh, nah. I do, I do like that particular mug. It's really pretty with the stars on it. Uh, this is kind of just not in trend right now. This sort of 
style. Same with that one. Very. I've seen this tin many times. This one is great for like, think about all the things you could do. It was a chocolate box at runtime, but for Valentine's Day cards, for Valentine's Day decor, put it with, put some milk glass around it, and that'll be very nice. There's just so much stuff in here. It seems like there's lots of great deals as well, and the quality is pretty, pretty good. So I'm happy about that. $5 jewelry table here, and I'm really excited about it because I like that. They also have dollar jewelry tables, but I tend to just ignore those. Oh, I like this pineapple. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna get a number of these items. So I'm gonna start out with the pineapple here. We'll get the pineapple. And then I'm also going to get, I noticed this horseshoe. I really like this horseshoe here. So those two as a start. We'll see if there's anything else we can get. So they've got, this little sword is neat. I'm not sure if I wanna, you know, go with that one. There's a telephone, got this owl. All of it's $5 each though. It's brilliant really for me. So, so happy. They also have the necklaces, of course. Lots of necklaces. Oh, look at these big ones. Those are nice. The $3 jewelry here. And actually like, oh my gosh, that would be great for Halloween coming up. I'm gonna get some of this. So everything here is $3 each. So I'll get this little guy. Those are initials, A-R-C. Have to find the right person for that one. They have a lot of the Wade Whimsies here. The little poodles. This little thing is fun. The cat, the elephant, Betty Boop. Let's see, there's all these. Okay. This is a dollar each. So why don't we just take a look at it? Just to see, because maybe we'll find something. You never know, actually. They've got like just parts and pieces of necklaces here. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't see anything there. I mean, there's stuff, obviously there's stuff, but it's uh, really the, the price points, like if I buy some one of this for a dollar, maybe I sell it for, you know, $6. It's not quite where I'm wanting to be, so. I will not. Okay. Yep. Let's go back over to the other area. Oh my gosh, it's busy over here. Busy, busy, busy. Let's look at here. This was the five dollar section again. They have some nice stuff. Oh, and the piece of Wedgwood, a little ashtray. That's unique. Oh my gosh, what in the world is happening there? Lots of things. Oh, this purple is very pretty. Really. I think I'll add that. There's, that's stunning. It's like springtime. I'll get that as well for five. That's really nice. There's this horse one here too, this horseshoe. That's great. Okay. I think that's all for now. So I got this little baggie here full of items and I paid a total of $21. So a little bit less than the anticipated 28, I think it would have been. Now we're heading back this direction. It looks like there's a whole nother covered shed area what do they call that carport antique port another area over there so let's head on over or like a pole barn maybe i don't know but we're gonna see what else we can find here it's been very good so far today i'm very pleased with our finds oh gosh this is quite large now the thing about this they have oh ice cream no i don't think anymore maybe but Nice thing about this place, if you come back during their different extravaganzas, they do have one that's more of an antique show. It's super large. It's also held on the same grounds here. It's just a different type of scenario. This is more of like a yard sale. So we're getting, well, really you're getting kind of the same stuff, I guess, but maybe a slightly less of the antique-y, like expensive stuff. So yeah, and it's smaller. That's the other thing, it's, it is smaller. All right, the cattle and bangles there, and then also here a lot of the cattle and bake light jewelry. It's very nice, all that. This is early plastic, it is colored plastic, so it came in many different colors. So this is like butterscotch, there you've got this nice orange, it's really nice. And then here we have maybe ivory, I'm not quite sure. I'm not a big ivory person, so I don't know like how to know 
you know, which is which, plastic versus ivory. I mean, there's tests you can perform with like hot needles and things. So there's that. We have a little bit of cloisonne back there. All of this looks pretty, pretty retail priced, you know, in the way that it's displayed and everything too would kind of indicate that to me with like the jewelry and everything in this nice case. Oh, these are great too. These little Harmony Kingdom pieces. They're trinket boxes, so they open up and then you can put your stuff inside, whatever you've got. It's actually a really great find. This was $4 and it is Antique Blue Milk Glass by Westmoreland Glass for $4. It's the open lace with the beautiful flowers in it. Outstanding, really, really it is. So I got this little Anna Lee doll here and it's in the shape of a moon. I've never really seen that before, so it's very interesting. So yeah, I think you know what, I'll wrap up the video here uh, with my Anna Lee Moon. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.